Hello, 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 hello. Today's video is going to be outside. So yesterday, my daughter and I went to the final day of the 14th annual Kentucky Renaissance Festival. And we had a blast. So today, we're gonna be outside and show you, one, the beautiful sounds of my backyard, the birds and the crickets and all the fun things. And I'm going to show you all the things I got at the Renaissance Fair because I spent all my money at the Renaissance Fair. That should be like a country song or something. Spent all my money at the Renaissance Fair. I don't know. All right, so the first thing I got is this cool little, this actually belongs to my daughter. She loves this kind of sensory stuff. And it's just like a little metal metal sensory bracelet. It just goes up and down and you can pass it from person to person. It goes all the way up your arm whee, and all the way back down. And you can be like that. And then when you're done with it, it goes flat. Maybe. There we go. Please ignore the cars. I can't help it. Okay, so. And I also got, because it was lots and lots of fun, and lots and lots of heat, I got this very cool parasol. I believe, I believe the name of that um, vendor was Feathers and Friends or something like that. Fine feather or something. I'll, I'll find it. I'll put it in the uh, description for you. But this kept me in the nice shade all day. And my daughter has a pink one. And the uh, vendor, the lady, she was very nice. She said that the orange and the pink parasols help block out the damaging sun rays. So who knows? I might incorporate this into my daily look. Why not? <laughs> Can do some uh, firefly cosplay, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So many bugs. <laughs> That's part of the experience, right? All right. This creates a wonderful, wonderful shade. I carried it around when we weren't under the trees. I wonder if this would work. Ah. Mm, no, it's not heavy enough. Alright, I'll put this down for now. Just for now. This is my flagon. My, I don't even know what it's called. It's my big giant leather mug. Um, I got, actually I got this one <sighs> several years ago at the Cincinnati Renaissance Festival in Harveysburg, Ohio. And that season I actually worked as an employee. I worked at the front gate and that was a lot of summer. Oh, a lot of summer. That was a lot of fun. That would have been the summer of... 2002? 2002, maybe, maybe, maybe the summer of 2000. That was such, good lord, 20 years ago. Unbelievable. But this creates some really nice taps. a 
lot to get through today. So I'm going to move on to what else I got. I got a bag of incense. One store I got. The name of the store was Moonstruck, and they had incense. I got three boxes of incense from them. I got Om Jasmine, Om Temple, and Om Passion. Well, we go through a lot of incense at my house, so I figured I'd stock up. Mm, and they smell so wonderful. And they have a very nice, fragrant scent to them. And then, later in the day, I ran across a nice little woman in her caravan. And she is called Lady Gypsy Caravan Something Different, I think. I'll, I'll leave a link to her Facebook page in the description. And so, I was able to get some... China rain, mm. some dragon's blood. This one's one of my favorites. Mm. So nice. And opium, which is one of my husband's favorites. And I like it too. So fragrant. So these are the incense packages that I got at the Renaissance Fair. China rain. And then the um incenses. And they are so nice. I actually want to open one of these up. Because I didn't really see how much. Okay, there's several in there. One, two, three, four. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna light them all right now. So maybe I'll do an incense video later. Who knows? Alright. So the next thing I got, the next, here's my tickets. <laughs> here's my tickets. And here's a pamphlet I picked up. This is a dream, if I could have a costume like this. It is from Son of Sandlar, and they do good leather works, and I was admiring some of their vests and cloaks and belts. <clears throat> and the corsets, of course, are gorgeous. Um, and I was examining their... I don't know what these are called. They're like corsets with a long, like, cloak kind of thing at the bottom. And I was admiring these, and the woman gave me the pamphlet. So, there you go. And they are so beautiful. So beautiful. And they have skirts, warrior skirts, garter belts, mug straps. So they have anything, small things up to big things. But they do very fine crafted work. Son of Sandlar is what they are called. Okay. Here are the birds. I did, I did treat myself and got myself a waist cincher, and I'm going to be using this for future Ren Fairs and cosplay conventions and stuff like that. So here's, it's a leather front, and this is from Treasure Fairy. A leather front, and it's got a, a very authentic um, elastic waistband, and a very strong Velcro on the back. I don't know who likes Velcro sounds. I'll do this. <sighs> Beautiful. But this is going into my cosplay closet. Cosplay closet. There you go. 
very high quality, very good, very friendly staff. And it matches my mug. Ah, matches my mug. So, got that. While I was there, I discovered this band. They are called Pictus. And they play this amazing, like, tribal Scottish drum warrior music. I can't even describe it. But one of their drummers is this beautiful, tiny little woman. And she goes after those drums like it, like her life depends on it and it's so cool but I fell in love with this band and their music and picked up one of their CDs and they were nice enough to sign them sign it for me and I cannot wait to get into this and listen to the music because they were incredible as a live band and I had so much Okay. I listen to them. And I don't know, they have a website. They have you can find out more about them at pictusmusic.com and they are on Facebook and on Twitter under Pictus Music. My daughter was with me and we went by one little place and they had out in the sign they had that they had they carried Ollivander's wands so of course we had to get a wand so I got a magic wand from Ollivander's wand shop and as per usual I let the wand pick me and it's interesting because I don't know anything about the character who belongs to this wand. I just picked it because it was the one that spoke to me the most. And this wand is the original wand of Serafina Hickory. And it's beautiful. These are all resin wands. So she, they did say they were a little bit breakable, but I intend to be very, very careful with it. And it is a beautiful purple wand. And of course, I researched and did some research on Serafina Pickery because I, I've only read the Harry Potter books. I haven't read any of the Fantastic Beasts, um, or I haven't seen the movies at all. Um, but I read up on this character and I like her very much. Apparently she's one of the characters from the Fantastic Beasts portion of the series. So this is my magic wand and of course my daughter got a wand. She got Hermione's wand and she likes it very much. So I'm going to put this right back in the box right here. side. And I'm enjoying this very, very much. I got all my magic stuff. Get my magic swag on. Gotta love it. Okay. And then the coup d'etat, the most incredible thing that I wanted Ever. I was in the market for it, and at the very, very end of the day, I came across. I also got this from uh, the Gypsy Caravan, Lady Gypsy, with something different, where I got the incense. And this is called Easy Tarot. And, I mean, I already know tarot, but this was the deck that spoke to me the most. It's called Easy Tarot. Learn to read the cards once and for all. So... 
my goal is to become more proficient at tarot. And I wanted to show this to you because this is the fav my favorite thing that I got while I was at the Renaissance Fair. I've seen my parasol. That's okay. I'm going to put it down. It really, really shades away the sun, though. I love it. Okay. All this lovely packaging. Love it. And I haven't even had a chance to get into this yet. Let's see, Tommy, look at these beautiful pictures. Beautiful. Look at the picture on the back. Love it so much. So, so much. We're doing ASMR. Don't forget. Don't get too excited because then we won't be calm and relaxed because we're doing ASMR. And I can't wait to get into this deck. Maybe I'll do some readings, some general readings. And if you ever want a private reading, for you on the channel. Just leave me a message. Leave me a comment down below or send me a message on Instagram at Spooky Tickles ASMR. Oh, look at the beautiful in the back. Look at the food in the back. And I do want to send a quick shout out to my friend Pocket the Fool. He's the one that Thank you. 